<coughs> swear I don't have the virus. Okay, guys, I think I'm about two years late to this trend. But if you don't remember, at the end of 2018, everybody was pretending to have an invisible box, and they like, and they try to step over it. It was pretty cool and it was challenging. I was really bad at it, so I had to fake it. Yeah, that clip was made in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, but it is very simple to do. I would imagine it can be done in iMovie. I know you can do it in KindMaster. This is a tutorial on how you can make the invisible box challenge insane. So you're gonna need only two shots. I had one of me stepping on a piano bench. I should have used a stool because you never wanna step on something that your foot will sink down into like a couch or uh, a chair ottoman because you're going to need to animate the mask later, which is really a hassle to do. If you don't understand anything of what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you in the premiere tutorial that is coming uh, right after these few clips. You also need a video of nothing in the frame. The clean plate should go on as long as your clip. So now I'm gonna go to my desk and we can edit this footage in Premiere. Okay, so in Premiere, you wanna open a new project. We can name it Invisible uh, Box Challenge. So import the clip that you need into Premiere. So make a cut right where you want your video to be. Click unlink and move that one uh, layer up. And then we're going to find your uh, clean plate where we move everything out of the frame and you're gonna cut there. Drag that right under you stepping on your surface. Okay, so now we are ready to add all the effects that we want. So we're going to go to the effects controls. We're going to go to opacity and draw a very simple mask around the piano bench. Click invert and then you can adjust the mask to whatever size you need. When you click enter, you'll notice we have two problems. First of all, the lighting is just a little bit different in the clean plate than when it is when I stepped over the bench. So we can either make it bigger, but we don't wanna cut off my shoe. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the mask and we're going to feather the mask uh, I don't know, the number should be somewhere around, mine was at about 85, and once that's feathered, you can click enter and see, your shoe might look a little bit faded, but that was because I stepped on something squishy. Now, we could animate the mask, but that's a whole lot of more trouble. So, let's play this back, and I think that looks pretty good, I think we nailed it there. Now you have that really cool invisible box effect. I don't even know if that trend is anything that we do anymore, but that's like the best internet trend. I don't know much about internet trend, but that's the best one I've seen in a while. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, still hit the like button. I am at about 60 subscribers right now, and each one of them means a lot to me. All the support that is given to me through uh, comments. I love comments. Just thank you, uh, everyone, and have an awesome day. See you in the next video. Bye. God, I never know how to end.